What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantel has returned. And I would think these videos are now, I don't want to say live, but I think they're current. A lot of times when there's delays like this, I think that shows us that she's not doing the pre-recorded video. So this is titled Eating Lunch and Liver Test Reveal. So in a way, I already don't like the idea of monetizing our health to this degree. We start with a Hamio plug. And if you didn't notice, she's back accepting messages on Hamio. Before, she complained that, you know, it wasn't worth the $5. Now, she's actually doubled it to $10, $10 to ask her a question there. Not a video, but an actual just message. We have some filler content with Howie, and she reiterates she's trying to eat three meals, but was not feeling well. So, she slept a long time, and this is just a reoccurring theme. I think Chantal needs to understand that she has really taxed her body, and the blood work is certainly... An indicator of that and that she's not going to feel quote good for a long time and she's gonna have to push through and simply make progress when she doesn't feel like she can and that's going to give her the mental strength to continue to pursue the life that she needs not when she wants to just feel like having that life now her blood sugar she said was lower at 221 and she has takeout and you know, okay, it's a healthy place, it's an organic place, it's got quinoa. I would offer again, your life is on the line. You don't have the luxury of takeout. I don't care the restaurant, I don't care the offering. You have to have total control of the situation. And that starts with ingredients, and that starts with portions. You know, if she sits there and says, I don't have the energy to cook, fine. You know, have Sala do it. Why is he not helping? She was just told to have bland meals. Chicken or fish portions. You know, how hard would it be for him to, you know, bake off a tray of tenders, right? And then she can add whatever light seasoning she wants to them when she eats them. You know, I just don't see that taking all that long. So it also appears to me there's some cheese in this salad. I don't know if it's a vegan cheese or, or exactly what it is, but I just found it a bit strange. I will also say, obviously, she is just taking massive bites. You know, I think it, a lot of this comes down to improving the relationship with food and respecting the food. And I don't know that you're really respecting the food eating this way. She shows off her medication, said she's enjoying the salad, that she was craving this, which is a good thing because normally she craves foods that are bad, and she said she needs to get all the ingredients to make this, which, again, Chantal, this is a grocery order. You know, you have no problems ordering junk and having it delivered. Why couldn't you have ordered all of these ingredients and had Salah put together, a, you know, a bowl for you or, or done it yourself? You know, she's acting as if this is going to be, you know, a weak change. When she talks about, oh, I just need to get this under control and feel better. Chantal, again, th this is a long, long road. And not the long road that you used to love to drive down. And it just seems like the more she talks about it, the more I can almost sense her being discouraged about it. Because she's talking about it as if it's just going to be this very, you know, easy path. And I believe that she's setting herself up to fail when she doesn't have any more options to fail. I did the video yesterday. Talked about all the times, whether she was trolling or not, water fast, diet, quitting a diet, neutralizing food. All of those things don't matter now, right? We know the true diagnosis. We know the true numbers. So sitting here and talking so passively of just, you know, one week you're going to just start to feel good and this is going to be easy. It's just not the case. This is going to be a lifelong commitment to eating healthy, working out, and doing what you should have done the last 30-some years to reverse what you did instead the last 30-some years. Now, Sala is instead of, you know, meal prepping with her, helping her, but he's sending her a video of a spooky museum, and they're going to go out to it, which, again, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that's not a good idea. Being active, going out, walking around... All great things, okay? Use that as a reward for yourself, if you must. But she parlays this into, you know, I wasn't able to watch horror movies. I wasn't able to watch even The Simpsons when I was growing up. I had all these restrictions. Thankfully, I had babysitters that came over. They let me watch these things. And in a way, it kind of works against her video from the other day of, you know, all my food issues are based on being around my parents. And it was just an odd thing to bring up, you know. 
in a way, I was glad she wasn't connecting memories to food, which is a positive, and it's something we haven't heard in a long time. But it was just odd to hear this narrative of, you know, my parents, you know, restricted me so much that I couldn't watch things on TV, yet we just heard these stories about going over to her grandmother's and basically being thrown in front of a TV with platefuls of snacks. So she said she hopes she feels better so she can show off more of where they live. Chantal, you've lived there for 13 months. <laughs> you know, th this is nothing to do with you feeling better. It's the lack of movement and the laziness and, to be quite blunt, what's been the easiest way for you to earn money with the least amount of work and it's sitting down and eating on camera. Your vlogs have never made you the income you expected. The couple's channel is now barren. So please spare us the whole, oh, I want to get out and be active stick. At this point, you're doing it for yourself. And filming it should be secondary. If Sala wants to film you do it for accountability, great. Going out and making vlogs to make them should not be what you're looking to do. Going out, working out light exercise, movement, activity should be what you're doing. And filming can come second because, to be honest, if you don't get this under control, if you don't put in the hard work, you're not going to have to worry about filming anything because, quite frankly, you're probably not going to be here. And that's just the harsh reality of what the doctors and the blood results have told you. Moving on to that, she shows her liver test. And again, she just insinuates, hey, listen, everything was fine. I've been to doctors before. They've looked at the number. There's no issues. Yeah, they're elevated, but it's just because I'm overweight. She closes out by saying she's unsure if she's going to mukbang the dinner, which is a whole grain vegan pasta. I will say this is probably the healthiest day of eating we've ever kind of seen her lay out. But I really don't know that she stuck to this. And that's going to be the challenge we have, is maybe never fully understanding how committed she is to this completely. And I just want to offer to you that in the comment section, someone brought up FFG. You know, I don't know. I don't really watch FFG, what was said. I'm sure it was nothing out of the normal for what we normally have said. And you can see, Chantal, yes, give me the timestamp so I can report it. You know, I don't watch, but I'll report it. Chantal, so many people have told you that your VIBs, your Beezers, don't have your best interest at heart, okay? Anyone that is giving you advice about what someone else is saying, what someone else is doing, and then you're running back and saying, well, yeah, give me the timestamp so I can report it. None of this should matter to you. I'm sorry. What FFG, what me, what other reaction channels do shouldn't even be on your radar. The only thing that should be on your radar is your health. The commitment you make to your own life. The fact that you are putting energy, effort, time into what anyone else does other than the what goes in your mouth and what you're doing with your feet is astonishing. You really have to sit down and maybe you need Sala to help you with this and understand that without making true changes, you could look at every single day being your last. And you need to come to the very, very real understanding of, do I want my last day spent long-form reporting FFG for no reason. I would hope that, no matter how you feel about her, the answer to that question would be no. Stop putting everything else before yourself. Stop putting YouTube, stop putting FFG, stop putting your comments above your health. Get your health in order. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is like a child. You're being told what to do by medical professionals, and instead of putting all of your trust and energy into that, you're dragging yourself on camera, telling us you're too tired to even cook, but you have no problem sitting there all day and slamming those flippers into the keyboard to long report FFG. For what? Nothing is going to change. The only thing that needs to change is your health, because if it doesn't, you're in real dire straits. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. And you know, just like Chantel ordering takeout and saying it's healthy and it's the best option she had because she's too tired to do anything else unless it's reporting and reacting channel. I will be back as soon as I can with more content.